Here at the Red Fern Oval, South Sydney Rabbitohs fans have stated their claim this is their home. But PNG residents here in Sydney and for those who have travelled along have turned up in numbers to give the PNG boys that much needed support. Well, we, we all excited. We, we all came here to support PNG beat South Sydney. It's always for the bunnies. I've grew up in this area, so I'm always a bunny supporter till I die. It's our season this year, so go the Bunnies grand final. It was the return to Redfern match, and owner and actor Russell Crowe wouldn't have missed it. All the hype began from the outside, and it was obvious the Rabbitohs meant business with some very familiar faces on hand to back them up. PNG won the toss through Captain Glenn Nami and were set to start off from the southern end of the field. Across the street, South's on Chalmers was going off with some pre-match hype, but PNG stayed focused. The match got off to a great kickoff as the PNG residents 13 got down to business, containing the Rabbitohs in the opening minutes of the match. An opening try set the home crowd on fire. Then PNG had something to offer through Israel Eliab, who gave the Rabbitohs a shocker as PNG plotted the first match points. A halftime score of 18 points to 12 to the South Sydney Rabbitohs was a promising scoreline for the PNG residents 13 as they took a break. Back from halftime, Ball handling errors, including this one from Josiah Abavu at fullback, cost the PNG team with a try to the Rabbitohs. Hard hitting PNG export Lassen Marabe put up one of his deadly hits to prove PNG's emphasis on tight defense. Ball handling errors was the order of the day for the PNG residents 13, who played defense for up to 80% of match time. As fatigue crept in on the PNG boys, the Rabbitohs went on a try scoring spree to win the match, 38 points to our PNG residents 13-12, when the Hooter sounded at full time. Sophia Rousseau, Chukai Sports, Sydney.